Hey team, I was chatting this morning with a sideline sister and I was sharing my thoughts on ambassadors who are under 100 PV and who sign um, knowing that they're not gonna be over 100 PV. And I realized that I hadn't really shared my thoughts with you guys as a whole team. Several of you I've talked with about this, but as a whole team. So I thought a video would be a good way to do that. So first of all, I wanna say that my goal is always to do what's best for the other person. I never want someone to feel like I'm taking advantage of their health issue or their desire to lose weight or their need to make money and I never want someone to feel like I'm trying to squeeze them into a particular way to purchase or sign on simply to benefit me um, I really do want what's best for other people I really do want um, what's gonna be the best situation for them um, that being said, I can also say that yes, this is a business. Yes, I plan to make money. Yes, I plan to go to the top. Um, but I really don't ever think it's beneficial for anyone, whether that's me, um, the signing ambassador, whether like I'm the signing ambassador or whether some, the signing ambassador is someone on my team or for the person signing up. I do not think it is ever beneficial for someone to sign on as an ambassador if they plan on purchasing less than 100 PV. And here's why. If someone comes to me and they say, Rachel, I am um, interested in Slim and I want to sign on as an ambassador so I can get the cheapest price. Um, my response typically to them is this. Um, you know what? Slim's an awesome product. It's our main product. Um, I personally love Slim. It's done a lot for me. It's done a lot for people in my family. If you're only interested in Slim, it's probably best that you purchase as a preferred customer. It's our cheapest way to order as a customer. You get a 60 day money back guarantee. And here's why it's not um, really worth it for you to sign on as an ambassador. It costs $35 for the year to sign on as an ambassador. At, you get wholesale costs, it's an awesome deal. And you also get the opportunity to work the business. So if you're interested in working the business, it's definitely the way to go. If you're not interested in the business and you're only interested in purchasing slim the reason it's not beneficial is it costs $35 and you're only saving $10 a month um, as an ambassador versus a preferred customer and as a preferred customer on your fourth month, you get an additional 10% off, which puts you pretty much right at wholesale pricing. So by the time you are on your fourth month, you haven't even saved $35 yet. So it's really not beneficial to you to sign on as an ambassador if that's your only goal. Now, if you're interested in the business or if you have a friend or two friends, you know, that you think would be interested in purchasing products, then yes, let's sign you up as an ambassador. You can get the cost of their products to help cover the cost of your products. Um, and that's really a great way to go. Um, what I'm doing in that is I'm showing them, okay, Slim's awesome. It's a positive thing. I'm not putting down the fact that they only want Slim, but I'm showing them it's really not worth it. That is very, very, very much true, especially if they're purchasing something less than Slim. If they're purchasing just ProBio 5 or just Block, Block is another popular standalone product, it's not at all worth it for them to sign on as an ambassador because by their third month or their fourth month, when they get their additional 10%, they've not saved anywhere close to $35. So it really um, is not beneficial to them. And you don't make a cent. If somebody signs up as an ambassador and they just purchase, they purchase anything less than 100 PV, you don't make any money on them. You don't make, if they're not purchasing a welcome pack, you don't get a business building bonus and you don't get pay points on their consecutive months. So it really is more beneficial for you and it's no different to them and it's more beneficial to them because they still get their money back guarantee. Um, if somebody doesn't tell me what products they're interested in, if they just say, hey Rachel, you know, I'm interested in Plexus, I think I'm gonna sign on for the discount. Um, you know, blah, 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 you continue the conversation. My response is typically great, that's awesome, it's a great way to get um, your products at the cheapest price, and it's even a great way to get the cost of your products covered because just, you know, three or four customers, and that covers the cost of your own products. You know, what products are you looking at? Um, what health concerns are you looking to deal with so that I can make sure, you know, we sign you up the right way? Um, if they come back and then say, well, I'm looking at Slim and ProBio5, or I'm looking at Slim and Boost, um, then you have that same conversation we just had um, in terms of those products. It really is not beneficial for someone under 100 PV. And a lot of times I don't even go into details. I just say, you know what? If you're just buying one or two products and you're only interested in the products, not the business, it's not financially beneficial to you um, because you're paying that $35. So by the time you get your discount on your fourth month, it's really not, you're not saving a lot of money. Um, if you, once you hit that three product mark, slim plus two other products is really when it becomes beneficial to sign on as an ambassador. Now, 
by all means, if someone is interested in the business, even if they're only buying Block or Pro Bio 5, then sign them up as an ambassador. There's somebody on our team who now she takes Triplex, but when she originally signed up, she was well under 100 PV for herself, but she was interested in the business. And her first month, she was commission qualified. So, you know, it you never know. Don't ever underestimate someone. If they say they're interested in the business, then go for it. Um, but so those are my thoughts on why it's important to sign people up as preferred customers if they're under 100 PV or wholesale ambassadors if they're over 100 PV. And those are some words and you know situations, conversations that you can have with your potentials in order um, to make sure that you're signing them up the way that's best for them and the way that's best for you. Hope you guys have an awesome day.